Howdy howdy, it's uh, been a little bit since I've made a video and uh, I'm going to come back and start playing with this little guy. Yeah, it needs some love, seen a bit of days, a bit banged up. So I've already started pulling out some screws here, um, but my intentions for this is I'm going to give him a brand new home in this new shell. So I'm going with the white Super Famicom, um, just a cheap shell off eBay. Um, it came with stickers for the, the back as well, which is nice. And um, when everything I own is pretty much black, <laughs> so I decided, why not? If we're going to make something shiny, let's make it shiny. I also got a... Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101 screen. So this is going to be installed in here. It's a backlight or backlit screen. Uh, this kit I got off AliExpress. It was fairly expensive. Um, but it's a mod that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So this is going to be going into this little guy. So let me get him apart. And let's have a look. So there is six tri tri wing screws which comes with the uh backlight kit and a single phillips down here underneath this sticker um which you can't see it's it's obviously underneath the sticker there is a hole and there's a little pot that you can um get a, a small phillips in and turn it to adjust the screen or the voltages for the um the screen for sync and all that which I will be doing through this one so here's the hole and um, before I put my shiny new sticker on I will adjust and make, so, make sure everything is perfect and good to go so let me get this thing apart and let's have a look what we got okay so now I've got this guy apart. I'm just going to pull off these side bits. Put them on the side. Same with my L and R shoulder buttons. They've got a little um, spring. Put them in there. Now, this ribbon cable for your screen, it's got a uh, latch mechanism. So what you want to do is you just want to push them up gently and it's going to release this ribbon cable. And I've got one, two, two more Phillips screws. So I'm just going to get my Phillips and just flick that out. Use a small one, don't don't break your ribbon cable. Carefully. Take these out. These suckers are tiny. No. There we go. Put all my screws aside. And this should just pull out. So this is the uh, Game Boy Advance mainboard. 
switch down here all good this is actually this board is fairly clean the um, buttons feel okay so I think the um, the issue I had a spongy left trigger uh, may have been the case was a bit tight possibly so that's out of the way all my buttons are here now let me have a quick look at the kit so I'll carefully remove my membranes oh, that's a bit dirty isn't it look at that all sorts of crap in there so I'll give them a bit of a a wash yeah I'll um, have a quick look in my kit in a second because I'm unsure if uh, if I got any membranes with my new shell so usually if you're if you don't have a new case um, you'll be pulling all this out which I'm not going to do because um, I won't be using this case so I might as well just leave this screen all in here what was that the power switch just fell out cool. so I'm gonna put all that aside and I'll put this to the side over here too and let's have a look at this so this is going to need some modification I'm going to have to trim down some plastic in here just so I can get this screen to fit okay so I got my new shell out and ready so this screen It's going to be popping in here, but as you can see down here, there's a uh, plastic blocking it and uh, preventing the screen from dropping flush. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove a fair bit of material. So let's have a look. So there, the screen seems pretty lined up if I push it to the left so I'm going to leave a little bit of plastic down in here just to hold it going this way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this to the left and I'm going to mark there this is some plastic left over from the mold get rid of that get out there we go and I'm gonna mark here I'm also going to mark here and here. As well as on this side. So, all this um, down here, it's going to come out, that's going to come out, as well as there's a little, there's these ridges of material all up here, and up here I need to um, 
also cut flush so the screen can sit flat and as close to the main bezel as possible. Um, this doesn't really matter but it's going to annoy me and um, I'm going to take some of this leftover stuff from the um, the moulding process as well just so my adhesive for the um, screen cover is going to fit and stick properly. I'm going to do that. Okay, so it wasn't the cleanest job in the world, but what I've done is I've come through and I've cut out here, all the way down along here, uh, that little bevel down there, and I've left a gap down in here too. So let's see if our screen fits. I haven't actually done a test fit. Perfect. It's got a little bit of play, but it's it's going to be just fine. Look at that. It's going to be nice. So what I'm going to do now is can I actually get into no? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull down my protective plastic just so I can hopefully peel that off from this side when I need to cool so what we need to do is get my buttons from my bag it also has some screws so I've got my Power LED light. So using my old shell as a reference, it's going to drop down in here, like so. My D pad, my A button, my B button. A and B are both keyed, so you can't confuse them. My membrane. If it's going to go on. Just push that in. Onto the D-pad. My a and B membrane. There it is. My start and select. Cool. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my motherboard. That speaker looks a bit gross. It's okay. I will um, upgrade the speaker at a later date as well, I think. And I'm just going to see where my ribbon cable sits. So, I 
Doesn't look like it's going to be all that bad. Might have to. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to install my ribbon cable. Just push it in gently. And then I'm going to lock it. Is that locked? No. Cool. Cool. It's two in. And I'm just going to Fiddly. Okay, so what's stopping me from going in? Everything feels okay. So okay. So what I think it is it's the um the new screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate my screws. My two screws. put this back in and I'll be back okay so I got a little bit of a ahead of myself there's one other thing I need to do before I put it back in which is get rid of this because we'll be playing around in the other side in a minute so I did have some tweezers around here which I I have no idea where they went. So, let's... Let's get tricky. You know what? I'm going to pull that out and I'll be back. Alright, so I got a little bit of a ahead of myself before. So um, what I did was I desoldered the battery contacts because I have something else in store for this thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my red wire and down here we've got where's my pointing screwdriver uh, DA2 DA1 what I want to do is I want to solder this red wire to the top left leg just under R12 
on DA1. So that's going to give me power to the screen. So I've got this little dude back together now. Um, I've cut out a bunch of space here for the battery. I'll get that sorted. Um, one thing I have to do as well is cut out a hole for the charge port. I'll do that at a later date. I'm going to be putting that in the battery door. Probably down here. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of cleanup of this thing too. I mean, I accidentally scuffed it. Not the good. But do some cleanup with a, uh, a Dremel. Um, but Where's my power switch? There it is. Look at that. Awesome. So I can take this plastic off. And um, I'll get this battery uh, inside. I'll just cram it in there somewhere. Um, so I'll get that plugged in. And then I'm going to put the screen bezel on and call it a day. Let's do that. So she's done. Besides the uh, small things that need to be done. So the uh, charge port. I need to put more screws in there, but I'll probably, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to take it apart again. Um, to do some other things, possibly. So I'll leave those screws out, I'll just save them, put them in a safe place. So there's one thing left to do. Give it a test. I have to choose a Namco game, since all, all my other games, I, I have a you know, Tekken and Soul Calibur and everything else on this channel seems to be Namco anyway, so hey. Satisfying. Brand new. So that's it. This wasn't really much of a uh, tutorial, I guess, or a how-to. It's more of a um, me tinkering with things than anything. Um, I got a, I got a lot of my information off other channels, so all you guys that um, got my info off, uh, same info from a lot of places. So I mean, thank you anyway. I can't. I'm not really going to list them, but the information is out there. Go, go forth, mod your Game Boy. Let's have a go. Okay. Let's go, Yoshi. The speaker is really quiet. What? We can upgrade that later. Not a bad little screen. Just grab him. There we go. Ha ha.
I'm just going to turn the light off. And now it's not going to focus. But... It's awesome being able to play Game Boy Advance in the dark. I mean, you can with the SP anyway, but I guess the reason for this mod is um, for this button layout, like this style of console, was just a lot more comfortable with its triggers. And, Yeah. Awesome. That's it for me. And uh, hopefully I'm doing something else soon rather than later. <laughs> See you.